history on parade. A pictorial review of events in business and industry produced each week by the National Association of Manufacturers. Times Square, 1924. Our attention-getting friend is riding high on a bicycle that dates back even further to 1877, when the founder of the Westfield Manufacturing Company of Westfield, Massachusetts, turned out the first bicycle produced here in America. At the plant where Columbia bicycles are made today, 75 years later, some drastic changes have come over the manufacture of the universally popular bicycle. Ribbons of steel rolled and seam welded into tubes of various diameters are cut into proper lengths for the jobs they'll perform. They're shaped. A great many additional operations follow, just a few of which are shown here. The important thing is, Westfield Manufacturing was one of the originators of the idea of interchangeable parts, the keystone of the automotive and many other mass production American industries. The makers of Columbia bicycles pioneered in other ways, adapting their methods of fabricating this venerable vehicle to the latest techniques for forming, heat treating, and machining metals, and keeping the bicycle as up to date as tomorrow's newspaper. The frames are assembled. the rear wheel is set in place and brazed to the frame with a special silver alloy. The handlebars are chrome plated. Meanwhile, the wheels are being assembled. Spokes are connected from hub to rim. up as spokes are tightened. The frames get their finished coats of enamel, which will be baked on. Decorative stripes are put on by expert hands like these. And at last, the bicycle's many parts converge here to be put together into a means of healthful, low-cost transportation and recreation. Rear fender. Rear wheel and the chain that drives it. The front wheel goes into the jig, and to it are added the rest of the main parts of the bike. Away it goes, one of thousands of Columbia bikes bringing health and pleasure to millions of Americans who have learned to enjoy the pleasures of the great outdoors under their own foot power. It takes both large and small companies to make up this great country. In the last half century, the automobile industry has grown from a one-man shop until today it employs 800,000 and provides more than eight million other jobs in related industries. The company which brought cellophane into being spent millions of dollars in research, development, plant, and equipment. Today, there are almost 300 companies, most of them small, which have been started as a direct result of the money invested in cellophane. 
America's lifeline is manned by large and small companies alike. Quality, smooth and dry as should be, have a stag beer. 